basketball excitement and a lot of weather excitement because it was another warm day today. It depended upon you. It was warmer in some areas than other 70s in southwest Connecticut, yeah. 50s in the northeast corner. So uh, we're all going to be in the 50s this weekend for the most part. And we do have the chance for a little rain, uh, but otherwise a fairly comfortable weekend. Those showers will impact Sunday morning and by no means a washout. And then it's back to feeling more like March uh, by next week. So right now, still a pretty big temperature spread across Connecticut. 47 in the quiet corner there in Putnam, 63 in Bridgeport, 52 at Brainerd Airport in Hartford, 61 currently in New Haven. So uh, winds have played a big role today and where temperatures have peaked uh, right now out of the north uh, at around 5 to 10 miles an hour inland, 10 to 15 miles an hour along the shoreline. And also we've seen an abundance of cloud cover as expected, some rays of sun, some partial clearing. There's some patches of blue looking live from Torrington. If you have evening plans uh, looking good across Connecticut, uh, primarily overcast overlooking uh, Gamble Pavilion there in stores and from along the shoreline in Old Saybrook, again, primarily cloudy right now, but we're dry. Uh, the showers have come to an end. The cloud cover will tend to erode a bit as we head toward uh, daybreak tomorrow. So overnight tonight, we'll bottom out between 35 and 40 inland uh, near the 40 degree mark along the shoreline under a partly cloudy sky. And then tomorrow, we'll see a partly to mostly sunny sky. So a really nice Saturday is taking shape. You can see those wind arrows coming in through the afternoon uh, from across uh, Long Island Sound. So coastal communities tomorrow topping out between 50 and 55. Meanwhile, inland topping out between, say, 55 and 60. Uh, as we check out First Alert Futurecast for the second half of the weekend, here comes an approaching cold front Saturday night. So Saturday night, cloud cover increases, showers most likely early Sunday morning. It's pretty progressive. So as it moves offshore, we'll get some clearing underway behind that front, and then cooler air begins settling in for early next week. So by Sunday afternoon, we're still in the 50s. Uh, and this weekend, of course, a big one for daylight as sunrise is going to be shifting from the 7 o'clock hour where it is now into the 6 o'clock hour by Sunday and sunset will be going from the 6 o'clock hour past 7 p.m. as we're currently gaining daylight at around 2 to 3 minutes a day. So uh, pretty uh, nice, of course, to enjoy that uh, that daylight. We'll see a good amount of sun tomorrow. Again, mid and upper 50s uh, for many communities inland, cooler along the shoreline. For St. Patrick's Day in the morning, Sunday, uh, scattered showers again early, clearing through the afternoon, uh, temperatures in the mid 50s. Then by Monday, breezy, high temperatures in the upper 40s and low 50s. And then for Tuesday, we welcome in the spring season. Tuesday, our likely our coolest day of the next seven with highs in the mid 40s, which is closer to what is considered typical or average for this time of year. It's also going to be a bit windy, so those 40 degree temps will feel a bit chillier. Uh, still breezy on Wednesday, highs closer to 50, back near if not above 50 by Thursday. And a time frame of interest right now, a lot of uncertainty surrounding next Friday at least with regard to chances for rain and how warm or how cool it may get. So of course, uh, we'll have much more on that ahead in the coming days. Okay.